And welcome back to Sports Night. Now, a brave declaration by Alexandra didn't materialize into an outright victory over Dighton Griffith today in the fifth round of the Barbados Cricket Association's under 15 competition. Playing at Kingsland, Alexandra batted first, and that was yesterday, and they posted 100 for five in their 30 overs. Dighton Griffith responded with 61 for eight, leaving Alexandra with a 40 run lead. Now, today, the final day, Alexandra went for quick runs in their second innings in, an, in order to have a chance at bowling out Dighton Griffith for the victory. CBC's Mark Seal reports. We pick up the action with Alexandra in their second innings as Baggio World dispatches this short ball to the boundary. However, at the next end, he would lose his opening partner, Makai Simmons, for four. As he's bowled by a beautiful delivery from Matthew Allen, Alexandra 14 for one. With the very next ball, it became 14 for two as Allen bowled Shakir Paris with a quicker delivery. His hat trick, though, would be denied. Nine runs later, Worrell would also depart as Dalvin Bennett gets him caught by the keeper, who did well to hold on after colliding with the point fielder. Worrell out for 17, Alexandra 25 for three. Malik Young came to the crease and got straight to work, pulling Bennett through mid-wicket for four. However, his tail was also short as he slapped the next delivery to cover. Alexandra falling to 32 for four. Skipper Renaco Belgrave came to the four, driving Bennett down the ground for a dollar. He then pounces on a short delivery, going through square leg to add four more to the total. However, looking for a quick run, he gifted Bennett his third wicket. Bold attempting a slog sweep, it's 61 for five. Michael Chandler was there all the while, and he tried to pick up where Belgrave left off, but he was too slow going for a second run, which caused him to be run out for eight. Alexandra, 62 for six, and they would declare at this stage with a lead of 101. Mark Seal, CBC Sports. Now, Dighton Griffith needing 102 for victory were struggling on 22 for 4 in 14 overs when the rains came and put pay to the proceedings. Renaco Belgrave had 2 for 6. The game was then drawn. Alexandra has 3 points and Dighton Griffith gained 1 point. 100 meter world champion Justin Gatlin of the United States was booed at the medals presentation over the weekend. In fact, he was pretty much booed every time he was introduced to the stadium. World record holder Usain Bolt of Jamaica, however, congratulated the champ who has had two failed drug tests in the past. The president of the IAAF, Lord Sebastian Coe, has weighed in on if he felt the former drugs cheat deserved what he got and also on if he feels the IAAF is winning the war on cheat. Now, Floyd Money Mayweather intends to be more physical in the ring when he clashes with Conor McGregor on August 26 for the super welterweight title. Mayweather, the former Pong for Pong boxing king and five-division world champion, is coming out of retirement for his clash with McGregor, a bout for which he is widely considered a heavy favorite. He has not fought since his one-sided unanimous decision over Andre Berto back in September 2015, which improved his record to 49-0. and 0. McGregor, the UFC lightweight champion, will be making his professional boxing debut against Mayweather. ESPN's Stephen A. Smith had a wide-ranging interview with Mayweather this week to better understand why he chose to fight a UFC competitor. So, we give him some extra time. Floyd Money Mayweather. Uh, yes, yes. Why are we here? Why are we here? Why are we getting ready to watch Floyd Money Mayweather in the ring against Conor McGregor August 26th? Oh, man. Um, That's what the world demanded. Um, I put myself in the right position uh, to make it happen. So I put myself in the right position to make it happen. Um, it's all about chess. Mm -hmm. And it's not really about being on a chess board anymore. It's about controlling the chess board. And, you know, that's what... I was able to do. How, is, how did Floyd Money Mayweather control the chessboard uh, with this particular fight? Well, easy. You know, I, I knew what to say, you know. I knew when to say it. Um, I knew what to post on social media. And um, I know, you know, some, some cool people in some cool places um, to make certain calls, to, you know, to make this big event happen. Did you want this fight? 
or did you respond to somebody who wanted you? Um, actually, I asked for the fight. Mm. I think it was kind of mutual. You know, I think um, I wanted to fight. Pretty sure he wanted to fight. Um, I don't think in the beginning Dana White thought the fight could happen, but we're here now. This is the second time you've come out of retirement. Is there going to be a third? The first time was a vacation, we should say. Yeah, but that's, you, you said it was a retirement. I mean, I know it was a vacation. I, 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 I needed a break. I just needed a break away from the sport. So the first time I'm going to say is it was a vacation. Like 2008, something like that. I think it was around well, 2008. I, I needed a vacation. That was it. Now, here are some of the events happening tomorrow, August the 10th. Barbados Under-19s will be aiming to end the Cricket West Indies Regional Under-19 three-day tournament on a high when they play the Windward Islands at the St. Paul's Ground in St. Kitts. The other matches in the fifth and final round will see the Leewards taking on Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica up against Guyana. The Caribbean Premier League continues with a match number eight featuring the St. Lucia Stars versus the Barbados Tridents at the Darren Sami Stadium in St. Lucia that starts at 8 p.m. And live coverage is on CBC radio station 94.7 FM. And then there is day seven of the IAAF World Championships in London that gets going from 1.30 p.m. Live coverage on MCTV's Sports Max 2. Now that's sports for tonight, Wednesday. I'm Anne-Marie Burke. Do have a good night.